So today, I'm going to show you how to install and tweak Luke Ross's mod so that you can play Hogwarts Legacy in virtual reality. And believe me, this alone, I've had a go of it, this alone is worth $10 just to buy the mod. Now if you want to continue paying the $10 every month like what I do, that's entirely up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So, what you have to do, because it's a bit tricky this one, is first of all play the game like what I've done I played it for about 10 minutes I've played on it a lot more since then but play the game in flat mode before you install the mod and then select Hogwarts Legacy in your Steam library right click on it move down to manage scroll across and scroll down to browse local files and click on that we'll just close this window for the moment we don't need that uh, and here it is. Now normally, this is the mod here. Normally you drag that and put it in here. And that'd be it. And you'd extract it in here. But you don't do that. Oh no, that won't work. What you do, you click on Phoenix. Then you click on Binaries. Then you click on Win64. And you drag it in here. That's all there is here. So get that. Drag it in here. Right click on it. And select Extract here. And it will... Uh, extract now you click on real config and this will happen I'm just going to click yes I have to lift my headset up to do that so and that's it it's copied a load of shit fiddled and farted about and apparently it set up the graphics and the game to suit your specs and, uh, and your graphics card of course it hasn't done that completely that's why we have to tweak it a little bit but that's what it's supposed to have done anyway that's it just press any key on your keyboard to make that disappear there right so we can close that now and now what we need to do is click on play i'm connected with a wire with a cable and i've got a uh, this going in the background, which is my Oculus app. I've got that turned on and running in the background. You have to, you have to do that if you're using a cable. Right, so let's click on play. Erlink apparently works quite well with this, but I'm not sure if uh, what's the other one? A virtual desktop. I had problems with that a few years ago. Right, so the first time the game starts, this is going to happen. This is the mods. Uh, own personal little menu. I'm going to make that disappear by pressing pause on the keyboard. And I'm going to let this happen. Uh, I've been trying to install a, uh, and not A, an, an I, an AI character. That's it, an AI character into a uh, Skyrim VR. There's a couple of videos about it. Well, there's quite a lot of videos, but I'm not having much luck. I've got most of the files installed, but uh, the tutorial I'm following, he seems like a nice guy, but I just can't understand what he's saying half the time. He's English, it's just, he talks too quick. So I've not had much luck with that, and I'd love AI in this. I don't think we have long to wait, do we, for that? Next year or two. Anyway, Enough of that shit. Press any key to start. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I've just done it. Luke, done it look shit. I thought that was rats then running up the wall. Don't this look really shit? It's awful. You couldn't play it like this. So what you've got to do now is press pause on your keyboard. And this will pop up. First things first. Current camera, so this is set at closer, so when you're playing the game, you'd just be behind him. We want to go down here, this here, and click that, and it will take to game default. Click it again, and see the first person. That's what we want. Now, see this? Now, most people like it on this setting. It's either 1.2 or half rate. I call it half rate. Uh, I hate it. It's that alternate eye rendering shit. To me, it just gives a shimmering ghost around everything in the background, and I don't like it. I prefer it off. I know I lose some of the 3D effects, but I still enjoy this 
the immersion of it. I still get quite a lot of immersion, and I really still enjoy it. Uh, I mean, it's just a personal preference. You don't have to turn it off. I am going to do. I'm going to put it on mono. See if it's on mono now. Now I'm going to go up here and click on that. There you go. And you see this slider here, and it says 7.9. Well, that's no good. You can't have 7.9. That's why it looks shit. So we're just going to slide that up, and we want that to be between 15 and 25. It all depends on your graphics card and the power of your PC. But I'm going to put it on 17, because I don't want to take any chances. I'm running a 3060. I could probably have it a lot higher, but this will do, 17. Right, adapt resolution. That's what you click on next. Ooh, and that's what it's doing now. It's adapting the resolution and shaking about a bit. See, look, that's much, much better. So now what I'm going to do is press... Uh, pause again on my keyboard and that should fuck off yes it has done now I'm just going to continue the game that I've been playing I'm just going to show you what it looks like ooh ooh here we are look at this isn't this beautiful and I could probably tweak it a bit more and have it looking even better but this is really beautiful it wants me to go over there but I don't want to now I have no idea what I'm doing I've just been messing about uh, I've got a wand somewhere oh yeah uh... Protego. oh Protego. don't know what that was Anyway, never mind that. Look how beautiful it is. Can we go in here? Because you can go in some of these. Oh no, it's locked that. Oh, it's getting nice. Look, there's a shop here. Isn't it beautiful? I've actually fought a troll, you know, and I killed it. Here, in, in this market square. Big fucking troll comes out of there. Oh, what's that? Next thing you know, it's unforgivable curses. Wow. Anyway, never mind that. Is this shop closed now? Because it's night. No, it's still open. Look. Isn't this brilliant? Should we ever go on this? Oh. I'm glad I didn't have to put any money in that. Because that was shit. I was impressed at first, but it's a bit shit. What's this? search or search that so really what I've just did then I stole that didn't I but look at this place look at all cake I like cake can I have some of this cake yes I've had some of that cake want some of this where's the coffee want some coffee now nice cup of coffee can we go up the stairs do we want to go up the stairs yes we do wow so, I might be wrong, but I think this is something to do with cakes and sweets and shit. Look, yeah, this is the art attack shop. Well, look, more cake. No, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not interested in anything he's got to say because I'm just having a look around. Oh, it's locked. You walk very slow when you're inside. Oh, I can, oh, there. I'll just press down on my thumb stick. And now I can run. Oh, shit. i a bit too much then. Look. Candy floss. Isn't that brilliant? I thought they were balloons from outside. But I'm an idiot. Look at this. It's, it's fantastic. Wow. Anyway, I've got to go. Because I've got, uh, I've got a blunt waiting for me and a pizza. And I might have a pale ale. Wow. I am very impressed with this. I wonder where else you can go. Anyway, I'm going for that blunt. Wow. So, bye.